I did a video the other day on this, the Quanchang UV5R Plus, and I asked you if I should do a teardown video of the radio, and a lot of you said yes, yes please, we wanna see what's inside. Pop off the, the battery and put that off to one side. Now, I'm gonna tear down the UV5R Plus and not the UV K5, but essentially they're the same radio. Um, okay, so I'll take the antenna off. There's no, there's no screws in this radio. I can't see any screws. There's no screws at all. I'm assuming, well, we've got to get this SMA nut off first. Actually, is there, does anyone know, is there a tool for this to actually do this? All I usually do is I just use a pair of pliers, which is, this is probably pretty bad and you're probably all cringing right now. It's gotten a bit tighter now, now it's gotten to the end of the thread. Oh, I'm having real problems here. Or I might, oh, for goodness sake, I think I've been tightening it back up, stupid me. Is it righty tidy, lefty loosey? All right, that took a lot to get off. Um, and I think that the end of that was cross threaded, that's why it wouldn't come out. Seeing as there's no, there's no screws, but there is a little gap here. So what happens if we just try to pry, oh yeah, yes, 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 yes. We pry the end of the radio here. Oh, there goes my knob. Okay, so you gotta remove the knob as well. Pop this out too, here we go. Ah, now we're free. All right, so, This is what the uh, the front of the radio looks like. It looks like a pretty decently sized speaker. Um, I don't know whether without pulling the K5 apart, I don't know whether that speaker is an upgrade, although it looks you know, relatively large. Um, what's this that's falling off? Okay, that's the little K connector bit. So the mic's sitting there. Someone did mention in the comments that the hole down here for the microphone was a lot larger than the K5. Not quite sure if it is or not, but there's the hole for the for the mic, and the mic's like gonna be right up there, so the audio's not too bad too. Once you've done the modified firmware, it actually sounds pretty good. Let's just uh, desolder the speaker. So red closest to the, to the mic, take this screw out. Take the next screw out. So it looks like there's four screws. So you got them two, then you got this bottom screw here. Four screws out, okay. Let's pull it out of the die cast mold. No, there's another screw. It's behind the LCD. How do I take the LCD off? So there's a ribbon cable there towards the top where the LED is but I don't see any way of removing it and I can't get to that screw. That sounds like it's stuck. So I'm probably breaking something there at the moment. Okay, so there's a bit of card stuck behind the LCD. So I didn't break the LCD. It's just stuck there. Let's fold that out of the way and I'll get this plastic off. There we go. So the plastic shroud is actually just stuck on the PCB. It just takes a little bit of time just to work it off because they've got the little clips on there. So I've got that out and that's exposed a chip, more chips underneath, ribbon cable there at the top for the LCD. All of this is just um, control board stuff. I'm gonna be interested in the RF stuff which will be on the other side. Oh, the USB-C, where was that supposed to go? Was that on this side? No, it's on the other side in here because you can see the cutout. So there's a cutout in the die cast. But, um, uh, yeah, this side. So there's a cutout there, um, but there's no, there's no pins on this side of the board. So let's have a look on the other side of the board and see if there are. Now we should be able to pull that away. You probably make it very, very small. You can see here some chip numbers. BL24C64A. There's our BK4819, 4819. That's our, that's the whole thing that this radio is all built around is that single little chip right there. So we've got an unmarked chip, which has 
nothing on it at all. So no idea what that is. There's that one I mentioned earlier, another unmarked chip. Not quite sure what that is. AM26. There's some resistors, resistors caps all over the board. So here's the SMA connector. We've got an inductor coil there, a couple of capacitors. So this would be doing our low pass filter network to stop any spurious emissions from being too bad. I did the test in the previous video on that. So there's a couple of pads here that are missing, it looks like. Don't know what those components are supposed to be. Um, here is again around that USB-C area. It's obviously clear that's where the connector goes, but missing an IC, missing a couple of larger components here. That is a another a beacon, a BK1080. A something in 4898CO1C. So I've just been looking to where the heatsink goes. So that little chip there would be our final output device here in the middle. So this chip would then drive into this low pass or this filter networks here uh, before it reaches the antenna. So that's the one that generates all the heat. That's why they've got the little little pad for heat sinking on there. And you can actually see on the, on the pad, it looks like it's sort of fallen off a little bit and it's not quite, I mean, it's, it's got an indent there from the chip, but I don't know whether that's covering the whole chip. If you haven't got one already, then I definitely recommend getting one because you know, it's pretty cool to just play around with. It's a bit of a unique thing and you can do some modified firmware to it. If you want to grab one, there is a link in the description below. If you want to learn more about the radio, then check out some of the links that will appear at the end of this video and also in the comments and description below. This is proving rather hard to try and get back in. Damn it, I did break it.